up, first fans? How are you all doing? We've got a sell high. Yes. I mean, really high, I think. Yeah. I don't actually. know who it is yet. This week, Devin did the uh, buy low, sell high, and I slacked off and didn't have one, so I am in the dark just like you guys. So, as soon as we get back from this, we'll let you know who it is. Hello. If you think about how great Travis Kelsey is, you will most definitely want to be one of only 1,000 first fans to receive this beautiful collector card for free. They are individually numbered and all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe to the Fantasy Football First channel. It's all in the description below. Now go enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs> All right, we're back. <laughs> Who is our sell high? Well, you were right. It is a sell very high. Okay. Austin Eckler. Oh, wow, that's pretty high. Yeah, that is very high. Right now, he's the number two running back. Well, counting in his bye week that yeah. just happened. Yeah, right. So, yeah, if you take away the bye week, he's number two. Okay. If you add the bye week, he's number five. Okay. But, yeah, he's very, very high. And especially since he already had a bye week, yeah. you might be able to sell him higher. Who okay. Knows? But so we weren't really high on him before the season starts. I mean, looking at his build, looking at his history, he doesn't really have that in him to be that top five running back. Nope. So, and right now being number two, he's obviously higher than we predicted him yep. to be. He has seven touchdowns right now. He has played pretty well. Five of those touchdowns happened in two games. Yeah. So he has two huge games and during those games he had four and three targets they were actually the past two weeks yep so he's not really getting a lot of targets recently i can see him starting to decline at the start of the season when he didn't have those two games he had nine and six receptions so it kind of balanced out for him to be very high but looking at his recent games i can see his receptions starting to decline and I don't really see him having those explosive games with touchdowns again happening. Okay. So right now is the time to sell him. Yep. I mean, you could get a boatload. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, is you what could, you want. You could probably get uh, Travis Kelsey. Yeah. You might be able to get Jamar Chase. Mm -hmm. You might be able to maybe, maybe Patrick Mahomes. In two quarterback leagues. Yeah, yeah. Don't um, do that in one quarterback league. <laughs> you can... <laughs> But you could package a deal yes. too and get a Mahomes and a Chase or something like that. Or you might be able to get one. someone like DeAndre Swift and someone else. Oh boy, that'd be nice. Yeah, exactly. I mean, something like that. Because I can see DeAndre Swift finishing in the top five. Yeah. I can't see Eckler finishing the year in the top five. Yeah. I see him dropping to around the 10 to 15 range. Yeah. Like, Which is where we predicted him. Yeah. Around where Joe Mixon has done already. Yeah. So. Obviously, we haven't looked great so far in that prediction. And we're willing to say that. But we never said that he wasn't good. We just said we didn't think he was going to finish at that range and there have been some injuries and stuff to be fair but uh, i mean to other running backs has been a crazy another yeah. crazy year for running backs um so yeah i mean this would be a an opportunity to sell him and uh yeah. reap some rewards yes yes because uh we both think he's going to decline a little bit yeah yeah and yep. also there's that injury risk yeah because he was injured with last his build year. yeah so At I, each year he he's injured yeah and especially when running backs have that big injury happen mm -hmm. usually it tends to linger and they might re-injure it or injure something else similar to that the next yeah. year or a couple years after so i don't know i mean there's a lot of red flags about austin eckler for the rest of the year so uh yeah i would uh try to trade him yeah sell, sell high. high though we're sell not very you know, high don't give him away obviously you yes. wouldn't do that but uh if you can get some really good return for him, a two for one, get another really good running back, maybe even like a Daryl Henderson mm -hmm. plus another good ride receiver. Because I, I think Henderson and Eckler are going to finish very similar mm -hmm. um, by the time the year's done. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. So, all right, there you go, folks. What do you think? I know most of you watching this are probably haters, so uh, <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments down below about Austin Eckler. Are you on board with us, or do you think Austin Eckler is going to finish as a top two or three running back and uh, will be eating crow at the end of the season? 
we might actually eat crow at the end of the yeah, season yeah. if that happens. <laughs> I mean, we'll own up to it. But uh, anyway, let us know about the comments. You can put that towards getting your free Travis Kelsey collector card. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, always remember to finish, finish first. first. Thank you for listening to the FantasyFootballFirst.com podcast. Jackson throws to Cleet Crabtree, has it for a touchdown. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Get more fantasy info and check us out at FantasyFootballFirst.com.